Pharmacists across Ontario have been experiencing what they call a dire situation where they're running low, if not completely out of certain uh, children's pain medications, so ibuprofen and acetaminophen, and also being added to that list is amoxicillin. Now, one of the reasons is because demand for the last four months has been through the roof. In August, uh, the Pharmacists Association in Ontario said that there was a 300% increase in demand. Some of that was panic buying. Here at Lawler Pharmacy uh, in the beach, uh, the pharmacy, uh, pharmacist here says that he has noticed the problem is not going away. In fact, he sees that it's getting worse. And I see a lot of frustrated parents, and rightly so. If you can't provide for your child, it's literally the worst thing. And we're in the probably the worst respiratory infections that I've seen for children over this entire pandemic it's never been this hard and that coupled with all of these shortages is an absolute disaster if this is not an emergency I don't know what is hospitals right now if you're dealing with pediatrics you're at your knees and still not even remotely enough action is being taken shocking because it's something that you think you can just grab and go quickly so to see that it's out especially for children you know um, that's not really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Luckily, I haven't needed any pain medication recently, so, um, but I'm sure parents are completely afraid and frustrated and confused as to why this is happening. I have twin daughters. Now I'm a grandma, and they're, they're all much older. I can't imagine my twin daughters um, and how what I would have done. I would have been frantic. I mean, when they were six months old, they had rosy ova. What would you do? I can't even can't imagine it. Now it's no secret that a lot of people over the last four months have noticed that uh, in some pharmacies, even some of the larger ones, there has been a shortage. Uh, some shelves have been bare or close to to uh, being bare. And pharmacists say that they have a way that they can cope in terms of uh, mixing their own versions of some medications to try to help some parents who are in dire need. One of the, uh, one of the things doctors have noticed is that. Uh, the level of infection of certain respiratory illnesses is very high, but they have a way that they can cope. It's called compounding, and it's essentially mixing their own versions of those medications. So compounding means that the drug is not available on the market, and we're using raw ingredients to make it ourselves. And this is something that can be done relatively easily in some circumstances, and other circumstances is more complex. Generally a lot more costly than a formulation that you buy that's already made of Tylenol or amoxicillin. But it's not like, you know, like you walk in there and you make a sandwich. It's extremely complex. And if you make a mistake with something like this, you could hurt a child, and that's unforgivable. Now, the Ontario Pharmacist Association has said that uh, something uh, that should be addressed in an urgent way is production of certain medications uh, here in Canada. Producers over the last four months, uh, according to the association, have increased production some 34%, but that still isn't meeting uh, the, the demand and need that's out there. So they believe that uh, governments and the pharmaceutical agency should start addressing domestic production of those medications here in Canada. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Scott Lurie.